Hi, this is Sean with the Billings National Weather Service. In this presentation, I will discuss a few weather radar basics. So, why is the Doppler radar important? Well, without it, meteorologists would not be able to see what is going on inside a thunderstorm very well, nor would we be able to forecast the movement of a thunderstorm very precisely. Our warnings would be less accurate, putting more people and property at risk during hazardous weather. In this example, we see a snapshot of Doppler radar data showing circulation at the time of the June 20, 2010 Billings tornado. The Billings Doppler radar, labeled KBLX, is in the middle of the black circular region towards the left of the radar image, while the circulation is in the white circle. How does the Doppler radar work? The antenna shoots out pulses of electromagnetic energy at specific elevation angles above the ground. When these pulses of energy encounter an object in the atmosphere, such as a raindrop, hailstone, or snowflake, part of the energy pulse bounces off of the object and returns to the receiver. This process is illustrated in the animation. The signal produced by the object is then sent to the signal processor where it is turned into usable data, called base data, which we see as reflectivity and velocity. Reflectivity shows where precipitation is, well, velocity information helps us identify rotation and strong winds within a storm, allows us to determine wind speed and direction behind a cold front, and allows us to determine which direction and how fast an object in the atmosphere is moving. Note that what the radar shows us is not necessarily what is reaching the ground. As the radar beam goes out from the radar, it continually rises in elevation. By the time this beam reaches a town such as Ikalaka, it is well over 10,000 feet above the ground. The radar cannot detect precipitation or winds below the beam, which is why we rely on your reports to give us some ground truth. Thanks for joining me. I'll have more details about Doppler weather radar uses in future lessons. Remember, radar data on our website can be accessed by clicking on the radar image towards the bottom of the main page.